I gave Julia a cookie. No, you didn't. Daddy, I gave the other one. Oh, you it's got good, huh? Cookies, don't you? Good morning, guys. Morning. We slept in, so we're having these pretzel crackers for breakfast. Such a bummer, they stopped serving breakfast at 10 o'clock. Our family usually gets up around 10 o'clock. And Abram is finally eating them for the first time, actually. What are you looking for? Bless you. <coughs> they have pretty good coffee here, which is cool. Thankful for that. <laughs> Peculiar thing has happened, guys. I ended up with Justin's passport and I cannot find mine. It was tucked away right here in my bag where I put my passport. And I'm just so confused how this could have happened. Like, it makes no sense to me. I just texted him to see if he has mine, but it's just so strange. Just figured out what probably happened. We both gave our passports to the front desk here at the hotel, and they gave me his, and they gave mine to him. What a horrible mistake to make, you know? Yeah, what if we weren't traveling together? Yeah, what if we weren't traveling together? Somebody would have showed up at another airport with my passport and be like, who the heck is this guy? Man, that would have been horrible. Sam attack! Finish him! Get him, get him, get him, get him! Use your laser eyes! Use your laser eyes! Who wants Benny? Benny! Oh! Benny. oh. 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 <laughs> You're a strong one! Oh. <laughs> Juliet's napping. So we stopped at this pool again. Right here, we spent the first part of the day at the beach. I gotta say guys, the beach with kids is not that much fun. We're back from our day out at the beach and then the pool and guys, I got horrifically sunburned. Yikes. Can you guys see that tan line? Yep, we see it, babe. It's horrible. I don't know what happened. I even put sunscreen on it, but I guess I didn't really reach my back that well. It hurts pretty bad already, and it, we've only been back in our room for like an hour, maybe. So, Symphony's been doing her homework. We are headed to a shopping center in this resort. It is so cool. I got a little peek at it earlier. There were all these different little shops, a coffee shop, a crepe shop. All the crepes you can eat. Sam likes crepes. And we're gonna have dinner with our friends um, at, I think, a burger place, or maybe a taco place. I don't know. There's two different ones there that we saw. So, and I wanna check out the spa. Maybe make some reservations for me and the girls Saturday? I don't know. We'll see. Wow, he his face. He's so excited. Are you gonna ride, Sam? Yeah. I get to ride with the princess. I'm gonna go up and down. Okay, where are you gonna sit? I'm gonna sit over here with Juliet. You said I sound like Baymax. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. you go fast. Oh, I'm gonna get dizzy. We're galloping. I feel like I'm on Lakey. <laughs> See you later.
later, pal. Bye. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I won three points. We have a bunch of balls. I know. Keep going. Go ahead. One, two points. There we go. Now we got some light. What? You win. I am the Mexico ski ball champ. Mexican ski ball? Is that what this is? He's so excited. <laughs> All right. I don't know about this kid. He gets excited about carousels, like slapping his face, but he's scared of going to bounce off. It's okay. He's his own little person. I think Sam wants him to be like exactly like him. We have to just get used to the idea as parents that our kids are not always going to be exactly like us. I had to deal with that with some too. What are you guys doing? Everybody's sick from the ride. Oh. Juliet's happy hour. And the kids are taking a bath. She likes this. We're back at the hotel now, guys, getting ready to wind down for the night. Bedtime here is like 11 p.m. instead of 8 p.m. like it is at home. And so comment of the day kind of ties in with what I was talking to you guys about at the carousel. It comes from KJ Morins. Knox is a carbon copy of his dad. So cute. And so, since I was just talking about it earlier, he may look like a carbon copy, but he is his own little person, a mix of both his mommy and his daddy. We have like desires, I think, for our kids to like and do and say and just kind of be the person that we are. I know for me it was kind of hard to accept when I started seeing traits in Symphony that were more like Sam or more like Sam's sister than me. Not that I don't like those traits, but I would just thought that my daughter would be more like me, like in the silly department or in the ladylike department. And you know, Abram has kind of a fearful side of him that Sam has not quite been able to embrace all the way and I just think as parents we have to learn to embrace who God made our kids and just learn how to cultivate the best the best in them because that's who they are we just have to make the best of it and raise great little humans who love Jesus and love others and you know not focus so much on the things that we didn't quite want in them. so that's my little spiel for tonight. The rest of the group is going on an excursion to another park outside of our resort. And we really wanted to go, but honestly guys, we just feel like we're kind of wearing ourselves out trying to do and keep up with everything, especially with Juliet. She gets so hot, she can't go on the water as frequently and cool off like we can. And so we're just gonna hang out at the resort, maybe go shopping, go to the pool, probably skip the beach tomorrow unless we go in the evening time. But anyways, we'll see you there. Don't forget guys, we love you and remember to love each other.